Hello everyone, I'm uh, Sanguine Sam. I'm just testing out my uh, capture card. Because I've been playing on it and whatnot, because I can just, you know, play on it <laughs> using OBS, but I haven't tried to uh, record with it yet, and that's what I'm doing right now. So, uh, I've been playing li Die a lot. <laughs> As you can see, for me being grade 3, I'm not that far, but I'm, you know, I'm not just starting. <laughs> I love this game, and uh, uh, I figured I would just like do a test run with a new character. There's only like three characters I actually like to play as, which are <laughs> the All Rounder, the Collector, and uh, this is the Collector right here, and the Striker. I have a uh, Eeny Meeny Miny Mo Cat the Tiger by the Toe. I have a collector and a striker already right now. I don't like that guy. He's he's the least favorite. <laughs> I don't like this guy. He's pretty cool <laughs> looking. I mean, he does look like he shoots up a lot of heroin based on his veins. But still, he's a cool fella. He's one cool man. I love him. <laughs> I love him a lot. Okay, I just wanted to see how I sounded without the monitor on. So let's go and select him real quick. And uh, buy some equipment real quick. Which this is the little equipment seller, man. You can do resets and development, which I have a few items that I want to like max out because I like uh, I like maxing them out. I love the fireworks launcher. That's a really good weapon. Uh, I can't buy the upgraded pipe. I'm just going to, uh, hmm. Buy some clothes. <laughs> because, uh, it's a little bit harder to find good clothes when you climb the tower. And this is the little mushroom shop. I don't know why it's called the mushroom shop. I guess you can buy mushroom shoes, which are these. Which you can use coins or the premium currency in the game. Let me just put some, uh... I, I just want to have some. I love the mosquito ones. That's why I have a few of them. Uh, that can be useful. <laughs> you know, sure? it's so useful, I'm going to get it. Because I can get pretty far on a... You know, level 1 grade 3 man. <laughs> but yeah, one of my favorite things when I first got into this game was just how... The game's just full of so much personality, it's... It's really fun. <laughs> I'm a little bit awkward right now because I haven't recorded anything in such a while. And this is like a game I'm kind of giddy about because just thinking about the personality of just starting this game, which I can't really show. Because you know, I'm... <laughs> I'm still early game, but I think maybe closer to mid. Oh yeah, these there's animals in the tower that you can collect and eat. There's also mushrooms. You can cook them with the firework launcher or if you find a fire. Oh, here's a pretty good weapon, the iron. So, fun fact, uh, the iron doesn't cook them. <laughs> Otherwise, they would show what that would do. But you can also uh, kill any beast you find to get a certain type of mushroom. Okay, I do have the... Special R1 attack with it. <laughs> you can kill beasts in like uh, a few different ways. You can hit them and you can shoot them. This one, the frog one's like the most useless one in my opinion. It's tear gas which allows you one free hit. Now shut off real quick. You can also throw and uh, your mushrooms and whatnot. 
Which is pretty fun. Here's a good mushroom. Damage down. It takes you damage to like 50%. I think. I honestly don't really use mushrooms that often because I don't need any stat boosters. There's pumpkins right now because of, uh, you know, it's October and whatnot. Oh fuck, she got a firework launcher. But she only got a low level one. I'm going to follow the default path at, at least as close as I can for this run. As you can see, that uh, hockey stick broke quite easily. It's not because the hockey stick's a bad weapon. It's just it's a weapon I found in the tower. And you can probably tell my heart's beating and whatnot in the game. That's your stamina beta. It goes from, uh, you know, not seen to orange to like uh, yellow. Okay, it's yellow, orange, then purple. Purple where it's about ready to uh, run out, and if it runs out, you kind of just have to take a breath. But the oil that attacks, you can uh, use to let it fill up a little bit more. Usually an oil one attack, which I'm about to show. Okay, oil one doesn't. But uh, T attacks, I mean, triangle attacks, definitely. As you can see, my uh, stand might be filled why I was attacking. Now that attack wasn't a good attack because it's the bus saw, saw knuckles. Which is just the range attack so you're already at a distance. There's a chest with, you know, coins and whatnot. You mostly use the coins in my opinion to, uh, uh, retrieve your character when they become haters. A character becomes a hater when they die, which is kind of like a... This game is Dark Souls inspired, which you <laughs> might be able to tell. Inspired in the combat, that's about it. But say Dark Souls got really good combat. Oh yeah, some attacks use more rage than other attacks, so I can't use the firework triangle attack till I get level 2 of gauge of raids I mean as you can see my raids gauge up there the, the one <laughs> but uh, when you get the firework launcher like uh, the one that you buy in the store it, it, it's better like buying equipment's better than finding equipment it has, like, uh, a hidden stat that the game talks about a few times. For instance, if you send a character with, uh, store-bought goods, the store-bought goods won't, uh, break when you send them to attack other players. <laughs> That's how the PvP works. You don't actually find anyone. For instance, I'm having a hunter hunt me. I got a quest to find the silver pumpkins. I did the bronze ones, but uh... <laughs> oh yeah, I could probably show off cooking uh, animals now. I don't know what happens if you throw a frog. Okay, he lives. But you can just cook him like that. And he heals more. You can do it with any animal in the game, but I don't know if you can throw every animal in the game. I mean, I wonder if you can use uh, the scorpion you can find. <laughs> But as you can see, the firework launcher, this one's kind of weak. Next time I get to elevate, I'll buy a firework launcher to show you how overpowered the weapon actually is. But as you can see, there's two fires here, so you can just go up to them and cook your frogs alive. It's kind of a dick move, but it happens. So this game is also a roguelike, and uh, one stat that, one of your stats that uh, stay through is Weapon Mastery. It makes the most sense that Weapon Mastery, you know, is uniform for all characters. Because it takes a while to level up. Oh, I already cooked that. I need my heart mushrooms. Oh, I had two. <laughs> I wish the cooking was a little bit faster. 
yeah, it's interactable and that's kind of cool, but uh, it kind of feels like a hassle when you got a lot of items, which I usually play collective, so I usually have a shit ton. I guess this was a trap room. So the door is closed. I locked on to the wrong enemy. Oh yeah, here's the hater, which is the enemy player. But it looks like the hater didn't really come with shit on him. Oh wait, that was my punch. I thought I had to bust all knuckles. Let me show how overpowered the iron is. Again, this is an item I found. Iron I found in game, in the tower. So that's not the best. But yeah, if you have a character that ever dies, don't fight them. Just use a kill coin. Uh, retrieval. You get to keep the experience, the money they have, which is usually more than what you spend. And all the items. If you uh, go out and actually hunt the hunt yourself down to get yourself back, then you don't get jack shit. It's kind of like, uh, oh, that's me. I, I'm going to kill me. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Uh, Cotton is something I need a lot, which shows up on uh, the third floor. Which is only the second one, but uh, fabric based stuff is usually f third floor. That's one thing I've noticed. I guess I need more iron scraps. Luckily, you can see what you have, but you can't see, you can't like pin something and see what you need to upgrade it. Right now, I need a, a war ensemble, I'd, green metals, but I can't find that any anywhere because it's like, uh, it's after this quarter muncher botch, <laughs> which is kind of a uh, part of the inspiration, if I remember correctly, for this game. Oh yeah, this is a uh, rat, so I should just kill him. Because he drops a good mushroom. The mus This mushroom acts like a pumpkin, but not uh, also as a healing item. The pumpkins are good healing items. Rat, you can't really stop him easily. Fuck. I'm just gonna show what tear gas does. It's just a free hit, really. But you can also just throw those mushrooms. Is this the path I'm heading to? Yep, this will lead to the boss. Now, uh, the boss I'm stuck on right now is, uh... The quarter muncher. <laughs> I was looking at a video of this game and uh, <laughs> it looks like the boss got nuffed, but they still are a piece of shit. They have this attack that just uh, they can spam it like immediately after it and it makes it so you can't move whatsoever. But by the looks of it, it used to like instant kill you, but now it's just like a lot of damage. And there's no indication that it's that attack compared to the other attack. These enemies, when I first saw them, was the biggest pain in the ass because you can't really hit them. And don't know that they do that attack, which pins them to the ground, so... You kind of just go berserk on them. <laughs> or you attempt to. Now there's... There's a bunch of these rooms because the rooms seem to be more like modules. I don't know if they are actually procedure regenerated. I heard something about like a uh, rotation. So maybe like once a week or whatever, they get like changed a little bit. But I think that's more of a daily thing. And they have a list. Because I was looking at uh, item farming routes and whatnot. For instance, uh, when I first started the game, there was like one of these themed rooms, and it was just like this big as fuck maze that I couldn't find my way out of.
I think it might have been this floor, actually. Let me check the elevator. Also, as you can probably notice, my clothes aren't really destroyed yet because I bought them. So they're high quality goods and they are also, they got levels and grade on the, the items I can find here. I can find items that are, you know, grades above and levels above compared to other items, but they still aren't as good as bought items. I think he broke my mask. Yeah, he broke my mask, which, which was like a basically no, <laughs> no good item. It was just like a, it has free durability compared to like a hundred or two hundred. Oh yeah, this is a hater enemy, which are stronger, and are other players. You know, obviously that wasn't controlled by another player. Otherwise, he probably would have set up a set up an ambush or something. What's the or ambush mechanics? I I have a quest for some ambush kills, so let me just try them real quick. The game has a light stealth mechanic, but there are also mushrooms to turn yourself invisible. Currently, the mushrooms are uh, in the place I am in right now, so maybe I can just like find a few, pop them, and like just like fuck the boss up. Because like stealth works in a very, I mean, the cloak works in a very bizarre way. You can hit enemies as much as you want, and they won't see you. They won't even respond to you. What I was trying to learn with the jackals was, you know, I saw some guy. Uh, <laughs> kill all of the jackals with just like using mushrooms and not even like attempting to hide whatsoever. <laughs> they they hide, they hid <laughs> to all the jackals spawn because jackals uh Oh wait, this isn't the correct place. This is just uh, a special boss area. And what I mean by special boss uh Bosses that I think are outside the game, like, lore. But basically, if I go in there, the boss would immediately kill me. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Especially since I'm a level 1 character. They use, uh... The newest gear... Newest high-level gear in the game. And they just fuck you up. <laughs> like, it's, it's insane. <laughs> But yeah, I didn't actually know that there was a map, but you get to the map by uh, pressing that. And I learned it because I was trying to look at, I was like looking up maps to see what the best farming routes was. For instance, the green boy ensemble metal I need spawns on uh, floor 18, but I'm only on floor uh, 16. But I don't think I have an elevator to 416 right now. Oh yeah, here's a grotesque kill. Amazing. Basically it's just the instant kill that you can do if you like stun an enemy, and I don't really know how stunning works, it just kind of happens. I don't know if there's a way to force it is what I'm saying. Trust rooms are good. Oh yeah, since I'm playing it all around, I don't have my collector bag. I love playing as collectors because I love having like tons of items. But these items I mostly have are uh, useless quote unquote healing items. You don't really need as much as me, but uh. Oh yeah, I have that. That's only going to give me 50 uh, recycle points. 
you can also drop kick enemies. These are kind of like an introduction to these turrets. They, these ones fire like every once in a while. But the turrets like on the next couple of floors, like maybe 10 floors up. Are just like some dangerous bastards. Here's the first uh, boss in the game. If I have my uh, store-bought iron, I can just like one-hit him. <laughs> so this boss, uh, I'm pretty sure is blind. Because, you know, he does that and then you can... Well, he's not blind, he's just very hard of seeing. Like, he's going to uh, do the shout to find me again. I didn't actually know he could talk, because I kill him too fast. But yeah, as you can see, uh, he's not really a difficult boss. And he drops uh, blue metal, but blue metal's kind of... Uh, I got too much of that. Because of this four uh, quote-unquote factions. <laughs> and the first ten floors are uh, Dodd. Oh yeah, you get comic books, you get comic books for this. Let me show the comic books. I still need the last dodd. Self-made man. Or two. And I didn't actually know that uh, that was going to be the boss, so this is the second boss. And I know there's more than 40 floors in the game. Because, you know, they expanded because this is a free-to-play game. And I haven't really felt obligated to make any purchases in the game, I do have to say that, but, uh... If you follow the basic quarter-munching, like, uh, mechanics that are in the game, then you might be obligated. I just don't follow that kind of shit, so... You know, I have a buying shit. Because, <laughs> basically, you start out with a few death metal, the premium currency. And any time I get it, I just upgrade storage. I just upgrade storage. You know, it only costs two and you get ten more spaces. Otherwise, the death metal would just be used as, like, uh, instant revive. Where you get to keep your items, but if you follow the... If you just, like, use money to revive yourself, you get more kill coins in the end. It's just you can't spend literally all your money. I also don't like having too many characters uh, in my roster, so sometimes getting money is a little bit annoying, but uh, the reason I don't is because the characters like instantly become useless once you find a new grade. Oh yeah, so you probably noticed my places in 4 controller makes sound. I cannot reroute that to the headphones. Well, I can, but uh, the headphones would have to be plugged into the, you know, controller. Which is one of the things I don't like about the PlayStation 4. You know what? Fuck it. Oh yeah, the reason that's lasting so long is because I bought the mushroom, you know, cooked it off the fire. It has an upgraded effect, which is thick tear gas, which lasts a hell of a lot longer than five seconds. But yeah, the reason the characters that are, when you get a new grade unlocked, become useless is the level cap, cap increases dramatically. Also, higher grades start out with higher stats. Like, the collector gets more collecting spots, higher health and whatnot. 
and when you first start out the game at a level 1 grade 1 character you only get 200 health and that's for all around there also attack power is affected by it I can see myself uh, having higher grade characters that are more diverse with like their skill sets later in game when I get higher grades for instance, I think a good defensive plan for like defending your uh, base would be to have a defender with an alarm and a few shooters next. Because how defensive your base works in game. Let me just activate this trap room. That's one of the things I hate about uh, the iron. Whenever you get, like, grotesque kills, you usually end up killing the enemy. And then you can also stomp them two times. Okay, good, a metal bat. A weapon that's pretty good in the game. I didn't actually think it would be a good weapon, so I didn't really use it. I just used the buzzsaw knuckles, which I love. It's, kind of, it's just a really fun weapon. I should have used my metal bat. But yeah, as you can see, uh, shooter weapons have uh, ammunition. You cannot refill that to my knowledge. Also, the firework has the worst uh, triangle attack. It, it has killed me so many times. I have received like thousands of damage <laughs> using that gun. Cause it's like, you know, extra large explosion. And you kinda sit there for a while aiming your gun at them. I'm kinda just looking for the next elevator so I can level my cadets up and, you know, cash in my money. Cause if you don't go to the waiting room. Oh wait. <laughs> Oh, did a hater break this bridge? This hole in the roof? That ain't a bridge. That's a reverse bridge. Also, as you've probably noticed, uh, the male character has a good ace. Had. Now that I'm seeing that crouching, it doesn't look so good. <laughs> I want that solid snake booty. <laughs> you know Death Stranding's gonna have that big fat ass. <laughs> it's like a staple of Kojima games. It's an important staple, I tell you what. Okay, so which way do I go? Wait. Oh! <laughs> so there's these little items that you can, you know, deposit the items into and whatnot. I tried it out. Big mistake. Costs one death metal. <laughs> and you get to send five items home. I just wanted to like, try it out because I thought a uh, home storage was, you know, infinite at first. <laughs> so I didn't really know the mistake of doing that. I don't think I have enough cash at home to revive myself if I do kill myself. But I would like to go to the waiting room, please. Yeah, this is Dustin. Let me just show you what I mean by, uh... See, one death medal for five items going home. That's like one of the biggest chips in this game. But there are these, uh, little rooms floors off to the side and whatnot. I guess this one is a fight room. Hello, friend. Uh, 
I broke your pant. There is kind of a parry mechanic in this game, but uh, it, it kind of feels odd to use. I don't ever use it. But yeah, there's these little floors like this all over the place. They usually have a special shopkeeper. Oh, I think this is a... Yeah, this is a sleeping thing. There's rim sleep and then there's non-rim sleep and then this is poison which I... Uh, uh, poison muncher, don't I? Never used it before so I hope this is how it works. It is. <laughs> Damn, that's a good healing item. <laughs> Because poison lasts for a hell of a long time in this game. It's just, uh, you can get rid of poison easily. As long as you aren't in any danger. If you poison the haters and whatnot, you usually, uh, you usually see them get rid of poison immediately. Because, uh, I think I can show it. No, I can't because I'm not poisoned anymore. <laughs> but you gotta make yourself vomit. Which, you know, you usually gotta vomit like three or four times. Usually two. And you are cured. That might be the way. But yeah, you can run through most floors and whatnot. Like this. I'm only doing it because I feel this is no challenge. And I really want to get to the waiting room so I can deposit my shit. Okay, that's an ex exhalator. Joto Dima, which has a lot of veneer planks. Veneer? Veneer? I don't know how to pronounce that. Oof. Oh yeah, this place is... Nah, the, the room must have changed. Because I thought Joto Jima was all bloody red walls. In the last floor before you fight the the real boss of the area. <laughs> but I will fight the real boss of the area. He's very weak because you know bosses kind of uh, have multi levels. I don't know how to fight the boss on harder mode, so I won't because I don't know how to. I think you got to go up a few floors and then you fight him again. Oh yeah, let me try to show the parry mechanic. Yeah. I know that's more of a block. But I still like calling it a parry because blocking's different. I need these planks. I need them for something good. One of the things I can't really show off is ranged weapons are like the funnest things to just like walk around with. Because you, you just go like boop, boop, boop. <laughs> and the robber crossbow, which is basically the repeating crossbow from Berserk. That uh, grotesque kill pins the enemy's head to any wall it gets fired on. Look, that's a hater right there. 
I fell flat on my ass. But yeah, you can use triangle attacks to just like get out of stick sticky shit you wasting. Also, there are golden animals in the game, you know, usually quest rewards. I just sell them. Because you can just get the same mileage. Because it's either like you gotta store them till you get like late game. Because golden animals, the only benefit that they have is full hills. And well, a full heal, unlike uh, anything that can already be healed by any items nearby fully, ain't usually good. <laughs> I really want to deposit my stuff because, <laughs> well, I don't have a lot of characters, so I don't have a lot of m ways to make money, so I might have to freebie someone. Even I'm pretty sure all my other characters are alive right now. But still, that freebie stings because you lose everything. Experience, just everything. Money, everything. But you know, that's how the game should work. Oh yeah, so buzz saws are kind of unique. If a character blocks you with a buzz saw, you damage yourself when you hit them. But it's only like one or two damage. <laughs> So it's kind of, yeah, useless. Oh, hell yeah, there's a healing item. Which I can also level up to uh, deadly poison. I got too many items on me. Yeah, I have a, I have too much leather. I can get my hockey stick mastery up a little bit. Also, an interesting thing about the poison. So in the game Loy, you kind of just wear these masks and whatnot to uh, prevent the mushroom poison. Because that's like a big deal about the tower, is it's covered in these mushrooms. But yeah, so you get these mushrooms all over the place. Which I think is why uh, when any animals die, they spawn mushrooms, or out of players, or, you know, out of people. Because that was a mushroom growing off someone. I try to show that process off with this guy. If he does grow a mushroom. Yeah, he's growing a mushroom. If I come back, there might be a mushroom on him. Nope, his course does not grow a mushroom. You know, it's not every fucking dime. <laughs> but it would be nice. Fucking. <laughs> I'll probably just end up fighting the boss. of uh, this floor, which is an easy boss, but uh, the buzzing of how I'm fighting has this OP kill attack, which if they hit you with one time, they will keep doing and doing till you actually are dead. And you can't use any items, you can't do shit. But that's what the Poison Eater stat might be able to help me with. You know, I can pop that, and poison lasts for fucking ever in this game. Especially deadly poison, so I can just, uh... Shit. There's also, uh... So some attacks don't fuck with your pose. I'm using pose, but I don't think pose is actually a stat in this game. And that buzzsaw attack fucks with pose, while other attacks might not.
I just have to use it on him. Oh yeah, this guy grew, uh, nope, he didn't grow a mushroom. Oh, this guy did. A uh, yoga mushroom, which is just a healing mushroom. That forces you to do yoga as you heal and build up your rage, so yoga mushrooms, great. Fucking fantastic right here. <laughs> Look how peaceful I am. <laughs> Of course, the yoga benefit is elongated. Okay, here's the boss room. Let me just eat a crust mushroom real quick. Can I make this boss fall asleep? One of my favorite things is you get to see the cutscene of when you first fight the boss. Oh shit, I thought she was invisible. I wanted to make that bitch fall asleep. But yeah, just seem as in this boss, but can instantly just like do an attack that makes it so you can't move. It can instantly do that attack over and over again. <laughs> again, I don't know how to fight the higher level ones besides uh, going to higher floors. Okay, so he did spawn something, a War Ensemble Blue Metal. I really like the War Ensemble uh, facts and equipment. Because it's, it's paramilitary shit. And I always think that shit looks cool. Here's a trap room. That's ah, Dodd. This floor right here is Dodd, but I can easily get Dodd shit besides Green Metals. Green metals are just my one uh, kryptonite right now. But I'm getting closer to uh, floor 18. Oh yeah, so when you go back a floor and whatnot, all of the enemies are there, but now that the items will be there. To uh, reset that, just head to the waiting room. Which, uh, if you don't use the express system, which is like how to get wells and whatnot, I'm pretty sure hooked to the game. They gave you free, and I'm pretty sure you can get more from Quest. But I got one activated right now. So for 24 hours, I get free elevator rides and uh, cheaper recoveries. Those are like the one. Those are like the two benefits, so it's not like too much. Okay, no mushroom. There's a crate here, though. Okay, there should be an elevator here. Maybe I will fight the boss of like the first 10 floors. I love his cutscene. <laughs> nah, wait, I won't. I gotta head to a uh, blue room on the... You know, the dark blue track. <laughs> I can't follow the teal way. Actually, I can follow the teal way. Trap room. Instant kill. <laughs> oh wow, deadly poison. <laughs> Hope that doesn't fuck with me. Oh yeah, so the snails actually have like a really nice thing about them. You can kill them. Like, uh... You can also kill them with melee. So, you saw how long it took for, like, Deadly Poison to take effect. Within that time, you can just do this. Stun them. Wait for the poison to dismiss. Kill them. Eat this, and then you get rid of poison. While that effect is activated. <laughs> it's a little nice thing. But yeah, snails act as uh, medium health items and uh, poison get rid of. 
Later you find them on the wall and you can only kill wall snails, you can't capture them. You can uh, fry them though, you know, like flask cook them. Oh baby. <laughs> More health items. I never actually had the mushroom or poison eater trait. I don't really see how I would lose it because I'm, I'm not going to freebie this guy. I think I will have issues fighting the tin floor boss though. Just with my bare fist. Unless I trick the boss into hitting an electric pole, which I did last time by accident. <laughs> So the boss has the axe or boss fight mechanic. You know, he has a gimmick. But being a... Uh, his only form, his easy form. Because I notice higher levels of him. I saw so on the quest giver. I mean, some of that poison might be... Oh, I sort of made him vomit. Yeah, I can't vomit up poison if it heals me. <laughs> you know, obviously, obviously you can't vomit up poison if it heals you. It's a healing item then. Okay, there actually is an elevator on this, on this floor. I think. <laughs> I could be wrong, I could be dead wrong. I feel like I made so much progress. Oh shit, it's these. These guys are a pain in my ass. I can't really break through the guard, so I have to let them attack. And if they attack you once, you've kind of get in a shitty stun lock. Okay, that's an item I have. But uh, those regular, like, yeah, Edward Scissorhand fuckers are easy. Even the level, higher level ones are. Oh, cool! I found an elevator. The one on the left is the, you know, normal one. This one is the direct express bonus one that you get for using it. It's just only like a thousand kill coins for like this floor to get, use that one but just to save them I'm just using this one. Oh wait there is a level 16 uh, elevator so I can just fight the boss easily the hard boss that I can't kill yet I might be able to see like uh I think it would be fun to see, like, when you, when you, you know, go to a waiting room, you get to see your big, uh, entire thing, like, your, all your gains. But you get to see them soon, like, as soon as I walk out here, you see the big gains. So all, everything I have, in money and experience-wise, is the Spice did. And this is how you level up in the game. I need more health, more strength, more strength, more health, more stanimas. I don't know what this actually is. I don't know what it affects. Let me just look it up real quick. Yeah, I never actually looked at what stats do, I just kind of inferred. Oh, there is Pose. <laughs> is that affected by Vitality?
Mm -mm. It turns out no one knows what vitality is, but it's still probably important to have. Okay, I'm going to buy some equipment. And then we can fight the first, you know, real boss in the game. You now, here's my health items. <laughs> they have deadly poison, so they last for fucking ever. You can't cook pumpkins. Because, you know, they already are special items. Let me just check my quest log. I think it might be full on quest. I already did that one. Hmm. I need to get a sniper rifle. Oh, that one gives off a death metal. Yeah, that gives off dodge. I can do that later. Yeah, that time to show off the like waiting room of the game. Which you heal up fully. This uh JoJo looking man over here. <laughs> okay, I love this guy. I just landed my ultra combo. Here's your tip. He, he just reminds me of uh, Dustin, I think it was, from uh, Stranger Things. Here's a movie set thing. Let me look at this real quick. <laughs> I got one new movie. It's very aesthetic, but it's not really interesting to watch. This has the, you know, vaporwave aesthetic. Goto 9 is 8 feet 6 inches tall and weighs 1,410 pounds. He was created by combining multiple people into one. He was an unfinished experiment and suffers from poor vision and hearing, but can paralyze foes with the venomous spray emitted from his extremely large mouth, and uses his long tongue to steal precious items from his victims. Oh, he can steal my items? He can also swallow victims whole, digest them within his body, and then regurgitate them as his brainwashed servants, who will then fight alongside him. I don't know that shit. But I only fought level one him. Then here's the quest giver in game. That tower machine is totally vintage. I mean, it doesn't look that old though. I don't get it. Hmm. Some lore. <laughs> Ready to start a new game? This is Uncle Death, the best man in the game. <laughs> He's really fun. Oh, wait, I, that's probably just a tip. Let me just go to the shop real quick. Welcome. Okay, all I got is food and shit on me. Come back anytime. I'm going to deposit the shit. <laughs> I do need to get some more death medals though. And now I can buy clothes and axle of good equipment. Oh, welcome back. Oh, I got resets I can do. I want the machete to be upgraded. Oh, I get the new mask. <laughs> Coolio! I kind of just upgrade whatever I can just to save on item space while watching out for something equipment like, uh, you know, dogs on green metal. I guess I should work on, uh, uh, armor stuff. Because <laughs> I got these special forces and I need that, uh, Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for, the War Ensemble Red Metal. I need to look up what 
I can get that for him. <laughs> Here's the good fireworks thing. Oh yeah, I got this new eye and I haven't really tried it out yet. Metal bat. No, that wasn't my best pair of pants. Shit. And that's where all my money goes. Come back anytime. Just, just pants. Just, just pant man. You know, at least I wasn't really money grinding, so. Yeah, it's not like I lost too much. But yeah, I also don't expect to like take a level one character and do that much stuff in with him. This is a grade three. <laughs> so he's better. This elevator is locked from the inside. I think I would assume that. But yeah, here's the first boss arena, which has Uncle Death. I can't believe you made it this far, Senpai. <laughs> this is your first big challenge. On Just your way love to this the man. <laughs> like you don't know how much, uh, how awesome it is. To just like see him do his thing. That's why the cadets is so perfect. Cause he's he comes in big and bold and brash. <laughs> And then you, like, rarely see him throughout the actual game. Which, if he was everywhere in the game, it would ruin his character. Because he's that type of character. Mm. Uh, looks like I got another new visitor. Pretty nice equipment you got there. I commend your choice of weaponry. But you know who you are, don't you? This is my turf, the first dawn of the Tower of Barbs. And guess what I do to visitors? <laughs> I still need his last comic book page. I don't know what floor it's on, but I can probably find it. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Treat them as prey for DOD arms. <laughs> you won't get this stamp from me without a fight. I already got the stamp, boy. But yeah, I will probably hunt down the last comic book page after like uh, doing this video. I just really wanted to test. <laughs> That's the other thing because I wear headphones. I can't hear what he says, so maybe, like, I'm missing a lot of Uncle Deffy. But as you can see, like, these high-level goons... ...are just being one-shot by my eye, and... ...I'll just show my, uh, firework gun. Here's where... The traps get a little more dangerous. Of course, you can just dodge him easily. Oh no. I'm pretty sure when the game first came out, that would kill you, but now it just, uh... Put you back at the beginning with all the enemies that you already killed dead. <laughs> so it's just the hassle. I guess that's dangerous. I'm gonna do a big jump. Jump, ma'am. The Elton. As you can tell, I can run for a lot longer now. Because of my increased dynamos. I think he was blocking that one, so maybe that's why I didn't instant kill him. Oh, 
Also, I do need more mastery for it to become really, really good. And here's the little Guts crossbow. I kind of want to find, like, Guts gear, which I'm pretty sure is for, uh, 20 through 30. Is, like, the medieval shit. Because I've seen some more candle equipment, which I'm pretty sure is what it is. Look at this, it's just the grenade right here. Can't dodge it. But yeah, if you do run out of ammunition for items, you can still use uh, triangle attacks and uh, grotesque attacks. I just love how apathetic the character looks while shooting the items. Because it's like, eh. Well, it's not like that. That's me getting my ass handed to me. Oh yeah, here's a rat. Can't target him. For some reason. Guess it, that's all a little more difficult to stop. You can also uh, stomp with a butterfly knife, which might sound weird. But I learned that the hard way, I meant to capture some animals by stopping them, then picking them up, which you have to do for scorpions. And I ended up killing them. <laughs> I didn't think you'd make it this far. Senpai. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you just laugh at me, you puke? You gonna die! <laughs> I was laughing at myself. Please, Senpai, don't do this. But I love how the cutscenes are still in the game, and you can just skip them if you want. Yeah, scratching your face with fucking nails. <laughs> I've actually seen some uh, chainsaw weapons farther up. From players that have, like, you know, higher characters and whatnot. <laughs> I did find his drills in game though. I just can't make them yet because I don't have the items. <laughs> there also is a miniature robot version of him. Let me see if I can trick him into the electricity. I don't know if he actually charges you because I usually kill him too fast. Oh fuck, now I'm electric. Oh wait, I got him. He's about to get shocked. I think. But yeah, as you can see, uh... Triangle attacks didn't usually one hit him. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. If I let him get up, will he level up? I want to know now. Will he level up if I wait a little bit? I'm curious. Because there got to be higher levels of him. I'm about to do it, boy. <laughs> oh, wait. It gets more powerful. I don't think I've taken it this far yet. <laughs> There's more particle effects on it. Oh, so I think... Deserve to be laughed at for this. 
I'm not laughing at you, man. <laughs> I'm laughing at something else. And here's the loot I get. Congratulations! <laughs> but you can't skip this, though. Your very first large stamp. <laughs> As you can see, he wears a mask, but, uh... Why is Tower Boy Dawn 1? <laughs> why he no have mask? Nice work. Keep it up and you'll be at the top in no time. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Keep it up. <laughs> I just love him. <laughs> He's just a lovable character. Like, he's a really fucking cute character. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I go back here. Nice work, senpai. Keep it up. <laughs> Ethan, great job. Hey, let me just throw off the grenade. I mean, what was you expecting, to be honest? I guess I will take it. I don't want it, but I guess. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show it off and see how my play system for recording goes. Bye-bye.